So I just came from an amazing day on the jet skis as you might have seen on my Instagram here have a small sneak peek how it was on the waters and you know as I'm a full-time investor and YouTuber I can obviously structure my day as I want to so you know I really try to enjoy life to the fullest and I can I, I believe actually everyone can out there too however let's talk about uh, the topic that actually I want to thematize today because I was on the water and I was thinking like well we have such a great nature and we are actually destroying it by burning oil and other fusil you know resources and I think that this will change it will change drastically in 2030 or up to 2030 and that's why I think Tesla stock is maybe your number one gameplay move if you want to go sustainable <laughs> So before we diving into today's topic, I would like to ask you three things. First, smash that subscribe button, including the small bell that is next to it, that you get all the notifications about all the daily new videos that I'm posting here on this channel. Second, smash that like. And third, check out the today's sponsor. And for that, I would like to introduce you to my friend and uh, he will explain you who is today's sponsor of this video. Hey, so actually we don't have a sponsor for today's video and therefore I switch back to Danny. Yeah, so as you can see, I don't have any sponsors for my video, so I create my own product. And I think, you know, this is one of the most valuable products that, you know, is out there for stock market beginners, but also for people that are already on the stock market and want to find those innovative 10x company that can 10x your investment. Just check out X. 10 masterclass.com my very own website my very own product you know there's no advertising and nothing there's 100 unpublished videos there is lifetime access to my discord chat and there's also 107 point excel file that you can use to check how much of a conviction your 10x stock is and actually and this is something that i'm telling here for the very first time i'm already having a very close candidate for your next 10x stock. Plus, I will launch it obviously first with a one pager of investment thesis in my members only Discord chat. So it's really, really worth uh, to be either a member or a X10 masterclass student. So uh, now, if we are talking about sustainable energy, there is a lot of things to really, really understand. And I'm borrowing this from Shamas because Shamas is like a, like a 10x my intelligence so obviously you know if you're looking into investment and companies and and you know want to enhance your investment horizon then obviously it's fantastic to follow exactly those people and he is someone that we are following for months now because he is the chairman of one of our favorite companies space virgin galactic out there so he said in one podcast because i'm following like everything he's publishing online so i watched his podcast and he said the following we currently have the situation that oil is very cheap, okay? And oil is the one number one resource for energy on the whole planet. Now, until 2030, there will be a break even point between sustainable energy forms like wind energy, solar energy, and other type of energy creations that will put oil, you know, in the backdrop, right? I mean, there will be still oil uh, used as resources and to create plastic and all of these things. But in the end of the day, there will be a break even point. This has always happened in the history of changing resources. You know, we see, okay, the new form of energy is actually much more sufficient. And obviously everyone want to go to green energy and not only Shamas Palihapitiya is saying the same, but also the Black Rock CEO Larry Fink is saying the same, that he believes that green investing in the next decade will be one of the most craziest things that you can do in your investment portfolio. So what is the message here? So first of all, he's saying that, you know, there will be some clever guy somewhere in the next 10 years that actually will create a method where we can maximize the source number one of energy for us here on humans as on, on our planet, which is the sun, right? I mean, everything comes, life comes from sun, right? So he says that, you know, the 
sun rich countries like the Middle East or Armenia, for example, which has the maximum resources of sun here on this planet will actually benefit the most because they will have very cheap energy. And as you cannot transport it so nicely like oil, many industries will actually move to those countries. And he believes that it could be that Middle East will have the new GDP that is so bigger than China. Okay, can you imagine the Middle East, where I'm from, will be the second largest economy because they will have so cheap access to energy and industries will move here to produce, to create new things and product worldwide. And I think this is fantastic. I mean, good news for me, right? I mean, I'm sitting here in the sun and I'm telling you Dubai is one of the most beautiful and most open cities. I think actually I discussed it with one of my friends out there that I think that Dubai is currently maybe the number one place and destinations worldwide we are so futuristic we are so advanced into the health uh, situation we have already the vaccines for everybody so you know it's definitely a fantastic place to be and uh, you know i would love to uh, see you here sometime so when you are around to dubai let me know and we meet for a coffee so let's jump to why tesla is the number one investment that you can do for sustainable energy and the future of how we will power our world So think about Tesla as a huge green finance play. And don't forget what I told you in the first category that Larry Fink of BlackRock is actually invested into green energy. And guess what? Yes, BlackRock is actually also a huge shareholder of Tesla shares. So they saw and smelled already early on that this will change the industry, not only the car industry, but also the energy industry. And I think that's why they are playing big on Tesla as well. And you know, if you're thinking about Tesla, you need to think about a company that is growing 50% per year, and this will just accelerate over the next couple of years. So it's basically almost impossible for the stock to not go higher and higher and higher. And I know what you're saying. Yeah, well, it's so expensive and you don't want to pay the price. But this was exactly the same with Netflix, it was not the same with Amazon. And people were actually not buying the shares because they were waiting for the big drop. And in retrospect, they're thinking now, well, actually, you know, where Amazon is now, which is, you know, not only the biggest e-commerce giant in the whole world, but also hosting basically half of the internet with Amazon Web Services, they are thinking in retrospect, well, I should have bought when the stock was at 500 or 800 and not now when it's at 2,500 or whatever the price is now for Amazon. And, you know, backwards, the connecting the dots, this is what Steve Jobs said, actually, is very, very easy but to look forward is actually so hard that I think the easier part is to invent the future. And I think those companies are doing it right now. You know, they are led by one of the smartest people on earth, which is Elon Musk and his team and his, you know, effort to change the world, to make the world a better place. I think, you know, a better investment that is growing constantly and also giving you the morality to do something great in the world. I think there's nothing like it on the whole uh, investment horizon. And that's why I will always, even in 10 years, in five years if you still will watch me guys and i would highly appreciate that obviously then you will still hear me that i'm thinking that tesla is one of the best companies to own don't forget stocks owning stocks is always something to have you know a part of the company's future and history and you're owning actually a piece of those companies that are changing the world and not only, you know, a price that goes up and down. People actually are missing this point, you know, people, you know, especially now with the new wave of new investors, they actually don't understand that they need to understand the company, the vision, the future, because, you know, there will be a couple of things happening if they're just seeing the stocks as a small tool to go up and down with money because they will miss the point that, you know, thinking long term is very important. And the second point, they will never get, you know, wealthy out of it. Because if you are just buying a stock waiting, you know, 30% gain, and you pocket this gain, you will never have this 
thousand, two thousand, three thousand percent over 20 years and you will maybe uh, start to invest in other companies, especially when you lost a little bit of money, you will try to, you know, and this is a psychological point of investing that you to try to win it back and you will just try to buy here and there stocks that you think are quick money gainers. And, you know, I, I did this mistakes, guys, and, you know, I invested in this experience that I'm sharing here for free and obviously also in the masterclass. I think that there's, you know, hundred thousands of dollars of experience that you are getting and I think there's uh, nothing like it on the internet and therefore I highly appreciate this that you are part of the wolf pack here and enjoying my daily videos. So let's jump into the conclusion of this video. So in the conclusion of this video, I would like to emphasize how long-term you actually need to think with Tesla stock, okay? Not only the car business is super important for Tesla, but they will be one of the biggest players because of their solar development, because of the energy storage development. They will be number one player in the energy business. And that's why I'm thinking that, you know, to get Tesla right now for below $1 trillion will actually be a joke if we are talking about that sustainable energy will be one of the most important gathered resources on this whole planet. I mean, think about it, right? I mean, this will be the apple of energy. Can you imagine a great brand, a great technology, you know, worldwide and super scalable, super fast growing. And Elon Musk himself said that, you know, the energy business can be actually the bigger business rather than the automotive business. Because in the end of the day, you know, if you're thinking like 10, 20 years from here, cars will be self-driving and it will be first, not safe enough to drive it by yourself anymore. And second, the whole industry will be so nice. You will just go in a car that will self-drive, it will entertain you and you will have a fantastic uh, use of your time because you don't have to steer your own car. And on the energy side, obviously, you know, they have the battery technology, they have the solar technology. And I think this is all in baby shoes so think about if you're investing into those companies 10 years ahead same like you would do if you see the apple stock in the 90s or the 2000s and you would say okay how is the future of you know, personalized computers, right? It will be smaller technology, better technology, and more and more people will adapt it because it's actually bring us further. And therefore, you know, it's something that is, you know, unthinkable, cannot be unsuccessful. So I think, you know, Tesla is like Apple in 1995 or 2000s, you know, when the whole game changing development of, you know, computers came to the market. So I think this is uh, super interesting. And therefore I'm thinking that Tesla is still cheap considering all of this, what's coming up for Tesla, the world and how the world is changing in a couple of years. So check it out. Let me know if you are buying Tesla because of that. If so, I would be glad that you join our community because we are talking 24 hours about Tesla and other stocks on my Discord and this community. Let me know in the comments where you are watching from as well. And I see you obviously tomorrow.